Hey guys, a vitamin D consuming boy here and welcome back to another video. So as you guys can tell, I'm outside the shed today, which is becoming a common occurrence actually. It's quite nice to not be in the gingy sim shed all the time. And the reason for that, well, two reasons really. First of all, my doctor says I should try and get some more vitamin D, so I'm out here doing that. And secondly, because um, I've had a request for quite a long time in the comments section to kind of go over the, the wheel rims that I use when sim racing. So today is gonna be about that. But before we start, I'm sure you've noticed that I'm wearing this very, very lovely t-shirt today. Um, this is, well, the first item that I've had uh, as a piece of merchandise, a piece of merch for a very long time. And it's a t-shirt to essentially celebrate our win at Le Mans. If you're interested in getting one of these and you have ad block off, you'll be able to see it below the video now. If not, there'll be a link in the description. So in no particular order, here are the rims that I use for sim racing. So first up is a rim that you've probably not seen on my channel anyway, which is this Fanatec F1 rim. I believe it was specially designed to uh, coincide with their relationship with F1 and the F1 games. I got sent this as an influencer, um, but unfortunately it didn't really work with my CSL Elite and I've not had the time to upgrade the firmware and not really had much opportunity to use it, which is a real shame because this has all the buttons in the world on it. You can tell it's a little bit dusty because there are some cobwebs on it here, but you can see we have the quick release system on the back and the paddle shifters as well, which I actually turned around because I feel in that configuration there, they're a little bit too close to the handle, so I'd flip it. So the uh, paddle at the top was facing up and stuff down. But uh, otherwise, I've not really had much time with this rim, which is a real shame. Maybe I'll try and uh, get a bit more time with it in the future. So next up is this big boy. It's the first ever rim that I actually ever bought for my direct drive wheel. It's a 350mm deep dish OMP wheel that you can put in a drift car or something like that. Um, but I didn't really appreciate how big 350mm was until I... Uh, actually put it on the the wheel it's far too big for anything that isn't a drift car you can see there's a lot of dust in it because i've not used it for a very long time and uh, back then i had to actually individually bolt this to the uh, direct drive wheel shaft because i didn't have a quick release so every time i wanted to change between this wheel and say a formula rim it took me about five minutes to do uh, whereas nowadays it's literally just a couple of seconds and here is a wheel that i replaced the big boy with another omp wheel this time a bit smaller i think it's 300 mil or 310 mil not entirely sure which one it is, but uh, one of those two. And you can just see it's been used a lot. There is a lot of wear on the side of here where I've just been using it a lot. Even with the gloves, unfortunately, it's a little bit unavoidable. And uh, this does have the uh, wheel side quick release on, so I can just put this on the wheel rim really quickly. Literally, it takes about five seconds to switch wheels out now, which is much better than it was before when I was having to individually bolt it onto the, uh, the the shaft each time. And if you'll excuse me trying to hold them in a weird way, you can see just the size comparison between the two and uh, why the one at the back was so difficult to use with things like formula cars. It just didn't quite work out too well. So next up is this, a Simfay Solutions GT3 style rim or formula rim. You can see it's quite dusty because I've not used it for a long time. And those who've been following the channel for a long time will recognize this wheel. This used to be my formula rim before I got the Asher Racing sponsorship. I actually got this wheel from a subscriber a really long time ago. It was back before VEC 2017 Le Mans. I think I got this wheel. So yeah, I've had it a couple of years now. And when I got it, only the left paddle shifter worked and I actually had to use this button in the top right up here as a upshift button, which makes things a little bit more difficult when driving. Since then, I've had a few issues with it. It seems that in the first place, this wasn't really very well put together. We had to take apart the board a couple of times and uh, basically put it all back together again with Loctite and make sure it actually stayed secure because it seemed that it wasn't really built in a very firm way to begin with. And when driving for long periods of time, this wheel was actually a little bit uncomfortable because as you can see over here, uh, the kind of lining around the edge started to fade away. So even with gloves, like you end up getting blisters quite quickly when driving with this wheel. I think at some point I'm gonna get it refurbished and make it look a little bit nicer. Probably not end up using it just because I'm a bit sentimental. And this, you know, this is a wheel that's been with the channel for a very long time so uh whilst it isn't the most ideal thing in the world i think to use i still it still has a little bit of a place in my heart i will say though now that i've read it down at the front listen to this i remember when i first heard that paddle shift click and oh my god that is sim racing asmr right there so i've decided to put these two wheels together because they are essentially the same wheel just with a different top on it these are both asher racing rims um, I have forgotten the name of the button box, so I'll flash it on screen right now because it's lots of designations that I don't really remember too well. And these are the rims that you guys will probably be most familiar with, especially this one on the left here. I've used that one the most over the course of the last year or so. As you can see, they're based on real life racing wheels. These are the kind of wheels you'd find inside maybe a formula car 
or a little prototype or something like that with the Asher Racing box on the back. Again, as you can see, both are very well worn. I've really put a lot of hours into both of these. They really are great wheels and I really love using them. And for a sim racing perspective, they kind of have everything you need in them really in terms of buttons. You have just the single press buttons here, ones that are kind of shrouded in this so your finger knows where they are when you aren't really looking. So I would use this one for my boost on the Audi and that one for my pit limiter. That there would be my headlights and that was my boost cut. Okay, down here we have a couple of hat switches as well, which can go up, down, left, right. You can also spin them as well, so I'd use this to make adjustments to things like fuel and TC and whatnot. Also click them as well, so quite a lot of functions there in just uh, one button. Also on the back, which is probably the coolest thing about this wheel if you ask me, is you have the hand clutches as well, um, which again I've made a video about in the past if you want to see how they work out. But it just adds that another level of immersion there and uh, yeah i mean again there's a reason why i use this wheel so much it's just one of my favorite wheels to use and uh, i definitely recommend getting one of these if it's in your budget now we move on to this the rim that i'm actually using the most at the moment which is one that martin sent over to me very recently uh, another asher racing rim as you can tell from the logo on the front and very new because as you can see the the handles still have grip on them this one is a completely built from scratch wheel whereas the ones before were button boxes that were based on real life wheels like the last two wheels that i showed it uh, includes this kind of multi-directional uh, button switch uh, dial thing i don't even know what you call it but uh, the thing that i like so much about the last room which allows you to go through button boxes very easily and uh, adjust fuel and whatnot but unlike the last wheel and you might have noticed already this thing has no wires because it is wireless so as you can see on the back there's an on off switch down here and a little receiver to the side of that and basically with conjunction with a little bit of a, I think a circuit board thing you plug into your, uh, your power supply, it makes this wheel wireless, which for me is absolutely fantastic because I've actually destroyed a couple of cables before, uh, maybe trying to save a car. I've, I've managed to rip one out the bottom of a wheel before, which has meant that I've lost the button box mid race, which means that you lose your gears, which is kind of uh, mechanical DNF, which uh, isn't great for sim racing. And now is a wheel that you probably haven't seen so far on this channel, which is a turn racing wheel again complete with another asher racing button box i kind of got sent this along with the other wheel that i just showed you as a kind of oh do you want to try this for your gt3 racing i thought okay i'll give it a go i've not really got around to using it yet and you can again tell because it's in absolutely beautiful condition i'm kind of scared to use it to be honest and as you can see this wheel is a little bit bigger just because it's designed for gt cars where you kind of wrestle the wheel a bit more i find with formula cars you kind of drive for your fingertips whereas gts can be a little bit more uh, robust so to speak and i think that wheel design kind of reflects that again this is another wireless wheel which i haven't really had the chance to set up and use yet but once i do i'll let you guys know how it is and last but certainly not least is this the fanatec mclaren gt3 rim now although i don't use this wheel as much as i used to i must say that out of all the wheels that i've showed you and i'm very fortunate to own <laughs> more than i should uh, this is probably one of my favourite. The reason being is that although it's made out of plastic and it does feel a little bit plasticky in some places, it is a proper full-size replica of a McLaren GT3 rim and you don't really get much of that that's aimed at a consumer crowd. And while some of the buttons do feel a little plasticky, the encoder switches, they uh, feel... <laughs> the encoder switches really have a very satisfying click to them which uh, lets you know if you can't really see that you have definitely moved that switch and that, that might sound silly but sometimes when you're racing you don't really know if you pressed a button or not but with this there's absolutely no mistake that's gone on to the next setting and although i'm not really sure if it was intentional or not the uh, the shifter being on a rocker means you can use it with one hand if you only really can use one hand and these hand controls in the back, which are really designed for clutch, can also be bound to your throttle and to your brake. So if by any, uh, if some unfortunate circumstance you can't use your legs, or maybe have a disability that means that you don't really have much use over them, you can still go racing and still do really well just by using the paddles on this wheel. But there you go, guys. That is my rather too large collection of sim racing wheels. I'll try and put links in the description for... Uh, every wheel that I've mentioned here in case you're interested in going and checking them out for yourself and I have become aware while shooting this video that it does kind of appear that this is like an Asher Racing sponsored video um, I made this video off my own back but please do bear in mind those guys are my main wheel sponsor so I do have a few of them but anyway guys if you enjoyed the video then make sure to hit that like button if you really enjoyed it hit subscribe to be notified of future videos again link for the t-shirt can be found in the description below Take care, have an awesome day, see you all next time.